Are you sick and tired of being forced to file a tax return every year, wasting your precious hours preparing tricky IRS documents and constantly worrying about a tax audit? I'm Joe the Plumber, and I'm not a politician. I'm here to ask my fellow Americans to join me to make this the last year we ever have to file a tax return. I'm going to give the American people the opportunity to vote the IRS out. As American citizens, we have that right. Did you realize the IRS code consists of over 67,000 pages and continues to grow? It's no wonder the American taxpayers spend a staggering six billion hours a year attempting to comply with the IRS. These were careless mistakes. They were avoidable mistakes, but they were completely unintentional. If the guy in charge of the Treasury Department can't figure it out, how the heck are we supposed to? We the people never voted for the IRS, but we can vote them out. Fair tax. Fair tax will stimulate the economy without the government digging into your pocket. The answer is vote for the fair tax. Act now. Listen, this is a vote that will not be ignored. Join me and I guarantee your vote will count. Stop living in fear of the IRS. Vote today. We welcome Joe to the program. So you're fighting for the abolition of the IRS. I'm guessing that it's not been too difficult for you to find support for that, Joe. Oh, no. The American people are ready for something new. And, uh, you know, I built a platform, IRSVote.com, asking the American people to actually uh, speak up and become their own lobbyists. Uh, all these polls that are out there, you always hear, well, they're voting for this, they're voting for that. Yeah, I've never been polled. I've never been asked. And here's an opportunity for every American actually to sit there and talk about uh, what they want to do. They can vote. Uh, like I said, IRSVote.com, get out there and have their voices heard for the Fair Tax Act. You know, I've never been polled either for the Nielsen ratings. I want to, I got to make a complaint there. You got to show me how to do that. Uh, but I've heard of the flat tax. Our buddy, uh, uh, Governor Huckabee, uh, has proposed it, of course. Uh, uh, Steve Forbes yeah, before fair him. Tax. What's the, uh, what's the difference? Uh, the fair tax eliminates all taxes. Uh, you know, there's no more withholding taxes from your paycheck. You get 100% of your paycheck. The only time you pay taxes is when you buy new uh, goods at the retail stores, uh, yeah, services, uh, so on and so forth. It's a 23% rate. And what that's going to do, by the American people holding on to their whole paycheck, they're actually going to be able to afford their mortgages. They won't have to uh, sit there and have bailouts anymore. Uh, not as much. I mean, there's still going to be some things left out there. But they're going to get their whole paycheck. They pay the tax at the price register. Now, in doing that, getting rid of corporate taxes, this is a beautiful thing. Uh, Princeton did a study a couple years ago. They asked over 500 companies nationwide that have left America. If America passed the Fair Tax Act, over 80 percent of them said they would move their major headquarters here to America or a major subsidiary to America. And that, I mean, that creates millions of jobs right there. But I, I tell the you what, Joe, and again, I love the simplicity of it. But here's the problem. Yes. you got Warren Buffett and uh, the guy making... Uh, you know, a hundred bucks a week paying the same 23 percent, if that's it, at the point of purchase. How fair is that? Well, actually, that's the beautiful thing about it. And Warren Buffett, it's great that you mentioned him. Uh, last year sometime, you know, one of the richest men in the world sat there and complained the fact that he actually pays less taxes than a secretary did. Now, that being said, with the fair tax, that wouldn't happen anymore. The American government actually sends out a prebate check to every American, uh, you know, husband and wife or single, of up to $250, a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on how many people are in the family. And the first $28,000, and those numbers are just right about accurate, $28,000, it's uh, not taxed. I noticed that you're kind of rough on uh, Tim Geithner there in your ad, uh, uh, and, and I noticed also, Joe, that uh, they're, they're saying that you've, have you stopped paying your income tax? Are you now a tax protester? Uh, you have oh, a, no, a no, no. What's going on there? I mean, you, you know the no, old you, rule about you not making the IRS angry. No, you follow laws that are in place. Um, and no, I'm, I'm not sitting here advocating not to pay your taxes, not to pay anything like that by no means. I'm saying that we as American people are in charge of the government, and we've got to remember that, and we can make the changes. So that's what I'm advocating. This is a, a chance for people to go to the IRSvote.com to actually have their voices heard and say, listen, you know, you guys in Washington, you're not doing the job. We, the American people, are going to stand up and make this happen. So as far as Geithner goes, I, actually, I'm not uh, trying to rip on Geithner. It's the simple fact that he didn't understand it. What makes, you know, so it's pretty hard if he can't understand it, the guy that's running our Treasury Department, that the average American person is going to be able to understand it as well. The fair tax is a simple, uh, uh, simple process to do that. All right, and then man. April 15th becomes another day. Another day, and have fun on, uh, on tax day. Thanks for coming on. I admire your activism. I admire the fact that uh, you had this uh, accidental uh, random chance happen to you, and you made the best of it for your life, and good luck to you. Thanks for coming on. Hey, thank you very much, Raldo.